And welcome back. Well, does your dog need to drop a few pounds? <laughs> An organization set up to prevent pet obesity says dogs are fatter than ever before. That's right. It estimates that 45% of all dogs in the U.S. are overweight or obese. That's about 35 million dogs. So is your pooch one of them? If so, it could be serious. Dogs who weigh too much are at risk for diabetes, liver problems, and joint pains, just like humans. Yeah, exactly. And today, tips to help your dog slim down. It could actually save their life. Mm -hmm. Charisse Lejeune is with the Wisconsin Humane Society in Ozaki County. Here with more on oh. that. But first, we have a little pretty girl here. <laughs> and she is not overweight. And no, she is not. so <laughs> gentle. <laughs> she is. She is such a laid-back little pup. Um, her name is Jewel, and she really is quite the Jewel. She is her name is such, Jewel. Yeah. Look at you just leaning in. So she is such a precious little girl. Um, she's only two months, so she will be a bigger dog. Um, but she's just got the m most mature personality. I mean, she yeah. really is is a great little pup. Um, is she an old soul? She is an old soul, I think. All she needs are some little glasses. <laughs> um, but no, she's two months. She is already spayed. She's vaccinated. Um, and she's already in microchipped as well. So she is already to go home when we open today at noon. Um, she's got litter mates as well too and they're all they've all got the same great personality you and you know. think she's a what mix again we think well she's we have her as a lab mix um possibly some shepherd in there but we really don't know for sure either way i think she'll probably be a larger dog yeah she's um, got big paws she yes, does she have does. pretty big little paws but definitely a great great personality and great for any family oh so sweet I okay hope she finds a great so home. when will she be available and she'll be available today when we open at noon so. unless onita gets her first yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> that could be very possible yeah exactly she'll probably be in here in a couple seconds. That lean look, you're just like I holding know. her up. She just wants to lean down. So, so um, let's talk about um, dogs. F fatter than ever mm -hmm. before. And are, is it because, and we've got some pictures as examples, mm -hmm. are they eating more table food than ever before That's and not getting the exercise? Exactly. And Molly, that really is is, is it. Um, it's kind of a combination of both. You know, it's so hard for us as, as parents of our, our little animals not to want to give them table scraps, treats, um, but it's really a combination between, you know, the food that we're giving them table scraps, too many treats, as well as just lack of exercise. Mm. And, you know, especially at this time of the year, too, when it's colder out, it's snowy, it's cold, we don't want to get out there and exercise our dogs as much, but it really is a combination of um, really helping to, you know, to ease up on their diet a little bit and, and make sure they're also getting enrichment and exercise as well, too. So, mm -hmm. Are there certain dog breeds that are more prone to yes. obesity than others? There are, yes. There are definitely some um, labs for one, so it's definitely a good idea huh? to make sure that, you know, we all have those labs or have seen those labs that really just inhale their food. Yeah. Um, and but they also crave exercise. Exactly. Labs are, are crave yeah. exercise. Exactly. So if you've got a lab, you know, yeah, they're going to be hungry, maybe yep. eat a lot, but they need a lot of exercise. Exactly. You have to know that going into it, exactly. right? Exactly. That. Yep, exactly. So that's something, too, that, you know, talking to your vet about, you know, what diet is perfect for your dog, seeing what their weight is currently, and then just moderately adjusting it. Um, one thing we say, too, is, you know, dogs who do spend a majority of their time outside will naturally kind of put on that weight um, during the winter, during colder oh, months. Oh, stay but warm. Exactly, to stay warm, but they will uh, lose that weight once the warmer weather comes around. So it's oh. really important to know, you know, what your dog's activity level is. Um, pugs are another type of breed that definitely yes. are more prone to You see to that a lot. Issues. They start <laughs> snorting yeah. more and they more. They do, and that's hard because they've got those short little noses, so when they're intaking that air, it's really hard for them if they are pretty overweight. And like you said before, Melly, too, um, you know, a lot of joint problems and, and liver issues and diabetes can come along with that mm -hmm. as well, too. How can you tell that an animal is overweight and not just putting on weight for the winter or mm -hmm. not just that? That's not their stock or you know the, yeah. their bone. Yeah, absolutely. One thing that we always say is you should be able to feel the ribs but not mm. see them. So feeling the ribs, you know, making sure you don't have to press excessively. The backbone too, making sure that it's mm -hmm. something that you can actually easily feel that. Um, and so really just kind of looking for that. Another thing too that you'll notice on dogs is you know right here back by the waist, you should see a visible waistline. Okay. Um, it should be something <laughs> where when <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> have one right now because she's a baby. You know, yeah. Belly, yes. <laughs> um, but you definitely should be able to see a clear waistline. So it should be a little bit of an indentation um, that you're able to see on your dog and again your vet is a great resource talking to them you know one thing we always say too is you don't want to um, suddenly increase their activity level or decrease their food amount you want to do it kind of gradually okay so really you know talking to your vet about what he or she would suggest um, to really help your dog get back to a, a good weight and uh, those are great
great tips. Anything else about getting them to a manageable weight? Yeah, definitely, you know, making sure, again, it's that combination of, of exercise as well as, you know, moderating the food. Um, you can take a look at the ingredients that are in your food. So mm -hmm. fillers, for example, do put on quite a bit of weight. They're just extra added calories that they don't really need. Um, but again, really keeping in mind too that, you know, it's, it's really a good combination between making sure you're getting them exercise, resisting that urge to give them quite a few table scraps. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so hard for us to do, um, but really making sure that you're keeping in mind it's in the long run much healthier for the dog as well. Yeah. Got to treat them right. Yes. All right. We'll give you the information <laughs> yeah. so that you can figure out how to adopt the pet of your choice. Here it is, Wisconsin Humane Society, Decorah Street in Sockville or OzakiHumane.org. The phone number to call is 262 377-7580 and we hope that she finds oh my god <laughs> look at her she's laying her head in my oh, hand oh she needs a good home how <laughs> cute is that what's her name again jewel jewel she's so good oh like somebody you. give her a forever home please send us a <laughs> no. picture when you do oh thank you thank Charisse. you we so appreciate much it. great to see you thank you